Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to show you how you can build this modern looking interface with Python. So I am going to build today it's going to be a simple login application to get you started this video is totally beginner friendly. I am using PyCharm you can use any text editor that you like so long as you are able to run Python now. This is where I am going to write my code inside this file called main.py you can name the file anything you want. We are going to use custom tkinter it provides additional features and customization options for GUI elements such as additional styles and color themes. Custom tkinter is a custom library that extends the functionality of tkinter and provides additional features and customization options for GUI elements. So pull up a terminal so I'm just going to do that now I'm using the integrated terminal that comes with PyCharm but you can use any terminal so you can use your plain old command so I will just open this up and I will simply type fit install custom tick enter so this is how you would install it then you would press enter and then you wait for it to finish. The code starts by importing the custom module as ctk. Next, a root window is created using the ctk class which is a custom class provided by the custom tkinter module. Notice here that this is an uppercase C uppercase T and a lowercase K so this is our root widget or our main window. This loop waits for user input and updates the display accordingly. If I run it I should be able to see my interface and as you can see here we have this small interface nothing to it yet but this is how it looks like now one thing you can notice is already by default the bar here the bar on top is in white which is not really the way it worked in taken through so antique interface so this is one of the first differences we can spot between ctk as well as tkinter alright. Now let's change the size of window by geometry method. It is used to set the size of the window to 580 by 350 pixels. Now we are going to create frame. A frame is created using the CTK frame class, which is added to the root window. Using the pack method. The pack method is used to specify the padding and fill options for the frame. Now we are going to create a label widget. We create a label using the CTK label class with text, login system, and a font specified as Times New Roman with a font size of 26. This label is added to the frame using the pack method. Now we are going to create two entry widgets, one for the username and one for the password. So, we can create an entry widget by using the CTK entry class and placeholder underscore text. Attribute is used to set the text displayed when the entry widget is empty. This username entry widget is added to the frame using the pack method. In the same way, we create entry widget for password but at that time we want to hide the password. So we are using show attribute set to asterisk which means that the text entered will be displayed as asterisk. Then we pack this entry widget to the frame using the pack method. If I run the program then you can see that a window appeared with login system label and two entry widgets username and password. Now we are going to create a button widget. Simply we create a button by using the ctk button class with text login. This button will be added to the frame using the pack method. Now we are going to create a checkbox by using the ctk checkbox class with text remember me. This checkbox will be added to the frame using the pack method. We see that window is simple. Now we want to change the look better of this window so this will be eye catching and more appealing. So we can done this through set appearance mode and pass dark value in it. Set default color theme functions and pass green color in it. If I run the program it will change the appearance of the GUI to dark mode with a green color theme. You can see that modern GUI has created by custom tkinter. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you want more programming videos then please like and subscribe my channel.